Hello everybody, Greg Stager here, your K-12 tech guy, with a quick video to show you how easy it can be to share your screen with somebody else. Now you might be sharing your screen with someone uh, to provide them with some information, such as a classroom type setting, or you might be sharing your screen with a tech support person who is trying to help you resolve some computer issues. Um, either way, or if there are some other options, uh, the solution join.me is going to be a real simple way for you to do just that. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to head out in our browser to join.me. When this screen comes up, uh, you can see it's a very basic screen. We've got the orange bar, we've got some information in the middle, and a background image. Now from time to time this background image will change, so just so you know, <clears throat> if you see a water cooler or a city landscape or something here, uh, you're still in the right spot. Now you've basically got two different options here. You can share your screen or you can join somebody else's screen sharing session. And we're going to start by uh, sharing the screen. We're going to, I'll show you the free trial here or the free version. So what I want to do if, to share is I want to make sure that I click on basic here first. Uh, you may later want to go and start a free trial for the pro version and that's fine. Uh, but we select basic and then we're going to hit the little play button here so that it will download the little client. And down here uh, you see that it's downloading. It's a pretty small file. You see it's only 5.2 meg so that download happens pretty quick. And when it's done, we'll go ahead and click on that. We'll hit the uh, run box on the uh, little box that pops up there. And when that runs we're going to get a little box at the top of the screen here and our little control panel comes out of that and there's a nine digit number that shows up on the display there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that nine digit number and you're going to give that to the people that you want to join your screen sharing session and they're going to type that number in right here in the join field and then they'll hit the play button so that then they'll be able to see your screen. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get started sharing your screen. Uh, you know, now you can browse around and uh, you know pull up your PowerPoint or whatever it is you got going on, or or just um, relinquish control of your computer even to a tech support person on the other end, so that they can use uh, the mouse and everything to uh, you know run around on the machine and, and get things fixed um, for you. So that's real simple. Now a couple of, of quick uh, things worth noting. Uh, I've got a little phone icon here. If I click on that. Uh, I can uh, connect by the internet, so I've got a little voice over IP connection with the participants uh, using a headset and a microphone. Um, you know, if you're not all on a telephone with one another, uh, this is a, a great way to do that. Uh, that comes with the free version. We also have this uh, little chat bubble here, and right now this bubble is grayed out because there's nobody else in the room with me uh, viewing at the moment so that chat feature right now is not available however if another person were to join the session you'd see a little number in the silhouette here uh, you know a two or three whatever and then this would become enabled so it allows you to just send chat out to either individuals or the whole group here I can pause my screen sharing session so if I want to do something else on the screen that I don't want the others to see uh, I can pause that do what I need to do and then go back to a point and re-begin that sharing again. Uh, with the silhouette here I get a list of the participants. Right now I'm in here and it shows nine spots left. So you can have up to ten people in the room in the sharing session at one time. Uh, also next to the names here uh, you would also have some additional options for those participants that come in. You can remove them from the room, you can send them a file, um, you can also, um, somebody can request control of somebody else's computer. So if somebody else was sharing their screen, if I'm the IT guy and, and you're sharing your screen with me, I can come to here and I can find your name and uh, request control of your computer. And then, of course, you have to authorize that on your end. It's not like an automatic, uh, you know, hijack your computer type of thing. You have to grant that access on your end, too. So. Uh, those are some real basic features uh, of the free version. You can see how quick and easy it was to get set up. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you might find some real useful ways of using this particular product. Thanks. Have an awesome day.